What's up, you two digital for trading company guys? So man, I hope you have a nice day on the market, man. What a way to start the week, man. The market made crazy moves up and down. So I hope you guys call that. We play every single thing level by level, right? That's how you trade. That's what you have to do every single day. Respect your levels, wait for them to hit, right? Wait for those clear breakouts and then take action. So I'm gonna go we're gonna go over what we you know we always trade spy Tesla and B and B that was actually crazy, made those huge move at the pretty much intraday after lunch, right? But you can clearly see how we tap those levels, respect them, and then it consolidates, right? So I'm gonna go deep on that and as well. I'm gonna update on one hour swings and especially a few ones that I'm actually looking for the, the week because they are making huge moves. So these ones. Uh, one of them was actually we made a huge squeeze long time ago, not long time ago, but a few time ago. So a lot of there is a lot of chatter on this one, but I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go deep a little on that one because I believe that there might be huge moves coming into the market this week, right? So first of all, let me check it out really quick while we have tomorrow, right? As for um economic events because it's always important to know right what we have tomorrow. Today we didn't have none. Now tomorrow we start with consumer confidence report, and now it's done. It, it won't know the market overall, but you know something to keep an eye on. We might move the tape, right? Maybe the few indexes, right? But nothing big. Uh, as far as earnings, we don't have a lot. I mean, this week is it's, it's a little chill. You know, it's not a lot going on. Neo reports after pre-market, so something important to see. We have big lots, Best Buy, right? And after hours, we do have H HP, which is uh, a few, that's a you know, big company as well, right? Like I said, it's not a big company that are reporting, but, you know, it keeps, it might, it's just worth to keep an eye on them uh, to see how they move, right? But now, SPY, right? What happened to SPY? You know, we have this China, there was this China news, but they could 50% of the taxes to boost the economy. So that really is a lot. Right, cutting fifty percent taxes on an economy is actually crazy. I mean, might in the U.S. get that? You might we only get twenty five percent, you know, tax reduction. That will be insane. So U.S. market move and sympathy with China markets because if you look the markets, right? If you go look the markets, China market at some point in the day, I remember in the pre market they were like five percent, six percent. You know, they sell off. You know, they they you know they do they did it at the end of the day, right? Like bad out that type of place, but um. Uh, it's okay, right? So, a spy. If you notice this, you know it's had the sympathy, and we we went over this on the on the weekly preparation, right? These all you guys what's 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 gonna be the range, right? If we had a sympathy move, we're gonna go towards that four forty two area because that's where we have it. You know the the two hundred made. That's what we previously been rejecting. Now tomorrow is gonna be very decisive because if we do have some continuation, some sort of continuation or follow. Right now, let's say we do break 443.57 resistance, we could be probably testing previous high, which is 446. And again, if we have extra volume, we could possibly test 448.52 resistance. Now, this is just on the bullish scenario. Now, look at I think as well, there might be a sell off tomorrow. It could be just a rejection as normal. That is another scenario. If that happens, if we get rid from this area, I believe that we should be retest. We probably most likely we're gonna retest this previous report with 441.34, right? And then hang around for a minute because we do have the 60 May and the 20 EMA hanging around there, right? So the daily chart as well is getting tight. We have the price action in between the 20 and the 60 May, so we don't have a clear you know direction right now. But you know that tells me that a breakout it should happen anytime soon, right? Daily chart already shows it's selling the selling. Pressure decreasing, MACD wants to go up, right? So this 443 area is gonna be key, very, very key, guys. So guys, you have to know these goals, put it somewhere. If you if you re-break this 442 area, we have good range to move to the 448, 450s, right? If we don't, if we reject it, then we can go back to those 437s, 438s, right? It, it is a possibility, right? So keep an eye on this. Now, Tesla as well moved crazy today. And I did tell you guys, I didn't mention you guys that you know BFS, which is this Vietnamese company. Which is an EV, it's been moving, right? It's been having this crazy move. Even today, made a new highs. I believe this thing can go to hundred dollars, right? But obviously, I'm not. I I'm, I scalp it, you know, as something really quick because I, you know, know what I'm doing. But it's better risky this type of trades, right? But the reason why I did that is because it's just respecting the trend lines, right? He made ninety three point highs and a pullback. But what what's really what I want to get with this is that because this is an EV company, there is a lot of momentum when this. 
there's a lot of volume on this. So that volume is getting out probably from Tesla as well because it's an EV, it's, it's competition for Tesla, right? It just makes sense. So we had the pullback, right? Tesla had this pullback like literally to the T. So of course, you know, these shares we have the community, they bank with this, right? Once we had this move from, from the pre-market, you know, of sympathy that we had, there was no delay on the sell-off. And you can see how Tesla sell off from the 243s to 244s, literally to the 235 support. You tap it and it bounced and it consolidates on the same area, right? So that was it was absolutely banger. This, you know, this play. The one moment it broke uh the 20 May, you be up, it was absolutely done. So that was a play for Tesla, right? But if you want to see a bigger picture, like I did tell you guys, that was that that was triple top playing as well right so that is something that also i didn't mention to you guys do you guys should have have kept a note of that right it is playing out now we do break this uh 235.61 which is also aligning with a 20 and 60 ma we should be retesting this 2029 2029.23 support right that's very likely to happen right but at least have the selling pressure but we need to break this key support right so keep an eye on that guys nvidia uh, absolutely banger too, right? We already had this huge move happening before, right? That's been huge a lot and has been consolidating on the same area. So we play level by level, right? Literally, same thing. You know, Nvidia had this gap up, you know, a little bit to, to resistance, rejected, filled the gap up on pre markets so and nothing big, right? Again, try it again on pre market and get rejected, smack down all the way down. I personally didn't trade this, but I, we trade this, you know, we traded, you know, the option. Why? Because I told you guys, you know, you don't want to, I mean, there's a lot of gambles, I get it. But if you want to wait for the clear setups, this gave you more risk, more reward than this. This was very volatile. It was the morning, you know, you were, you, you had the risk that it could be a fake out. There were many things happening here, right? So I didn't trade this. I waited for the, you know, market in my direction. Once around 12 o'clock, you know, we, we, I was keeping an eye on it. Once we did climb the train, we started closing about a 20 May. I got it started, then here we got the 20 minutes close, 60 May, and we had the uptrend towards resistance, right? So pretty much from 459 towards 469, right? So that's almost $10 move on Nvidia right now. If you will see as well, make decent moves today. It did broke that consolidation that it had, which is good, right? We want to see that. See, if we see pullback, it was just hanging around that 20 May, getting tight, and now we broke that. Right, which is that's what we want to see. We see that we already see today that nice move to the four to the 5.80s, a five, yeah, 5.88, 5.70s. So that's good because we broke this consolidation. Now, what we need to do is really hold about this, right? I mean, I'm okay with a pullback, you know, like I told you guys, I'm being accumulating these pullbacks, but I believe this is a good play as a swing trade, right? But remember, nothing of this financial advice, I'm not telling you guys to buy on side anything. This is just my ideas. Um, um, you know, this is a swing trade. It's going to take weeks, months, but nothing is warranty in the market. So please, guys, make your DD, right? And understand why are we playing this, uh, you know, stock in specific. If you see, I love it. I mean, I love the setup for long-term swing trading toward that gap field. Well, at least $10, you know, at least we got We need to get 100% on this. That's my goal on this, on this trade. But you'll see, it's actually getting, you know, getting my eye. I did trade this as well in Africa community. They bank with, they bank with me. Now, why am I like this? Because... This one was an app listing a while ago, right? I, I didn't trade the first one because you know it app listed and then it sell up all the way down, right? It was it was it was it wasn't a, it was an app listing from the OTC market. Now after selling off to 30, 65 cents, it's been cutting up some momentum, right? But today actually it looks great because it finally broke that consolidation that was having, right? It broke this key level, right? This 190.19. I'm sorry, 1.98 and holding about two dollars is actually bullish to me. For me, look at this chart, this four-hour chart. I can see a three, a possible three was solid forming here that it could possibly bring a gap up on pre-market or a move up towards the next level, right? So definitely, it's something to keep an eye on, is guys. You know, the daily chart does actually look good too. You know, we have buying pressure. You know, the average size of 40, 47. So definitely has some room to go, right? At least you know this 200, 200 minutes of seven dollars. I don't think it's going to squeeze. You know, really not yet. You know, but I believe that realistically, 3.48, 60 may tap might be possible on the short term as long as he maintains the trend, right? If he does, if he breaks the trend and start pulling back, right, he loses $2, then that's something different. But as long as keep that, there might be a possibility. Now, another one that I keep in mind is GNS, and this is the one I told you guys. A while ago, GNS 
uh, once it, they were you know announced that were part in the shorts and all the stuff, the naked shorts, it rallied from thirty cents to almost eight dollar. Right now, it is doing sermonthum similar. Now, I'm not saying it's going to go to dollars again, but you might want to keep an eye on that because it's getting a lot of momentum, right? That weekly is looking nasty, man. You know, after that gap up, you know, buying pressure, daily lookers as well, right? We have buying pressure. We've had a gap up. Now, I did tell you guys how I do like this setup, you know, when after when the stock comes up and has buying pressure here, I would like to see this a continuation, which is very likely to happen, right? It's a 2.23. But definitely, we need to break this 2.55 to 200 EMA in order to move forward, right? But as long as I believe, as long as we hold above this two dollar, I, I definitely I think that we need to have a pullback, which you know, a healthy pullback, really, possibly you know, towards the 210 support or maybe a little, little, little lower, you know, 1.85 support, right? But then, if, if it you know, remains above the trend lines, if it remains above the 20 EMA, I think. We should be making new highs, you know, soon, right? They do have this their spin off on the 31st, which is Thursday. So we have, you know, two, three more days pretty much to hold, you know, probably play this if, you know, continues to have trend, right? But if you're playing it, remember the 31st, there's a spin off. I wouldn't hold this to the 31st. I will sell this at 30 if you're playing this. Just FYI. But of course, make your DD to understand why is this spin off happening. There, yeah. you know, the company is giving this shareholders from GNS. Another share from another company is part of, I believe, as part of a product reward program that they have. So keep an eye on that, guys. We should be uh, having a little bit of movement on the coming weeks. Um, other than that, guys, I think we should be good. So keep an eye on tomorrow. We have uh, possibly new plays coming out as well. If you have any questions, let me know. Don't forget to, you know, again, like and subscribe to the channel, guys. We have more ideas, more trades, right? Everything, recaps, everything happening here. Right. If you have any questions, don't forget to DM me. Send me, you know, send me a, like I said, a comment here. I'm almost reading you guys. Do my best to reach out to you guys. And again, don't fall more things. You know, you have to wait for your clear breakouts to take an action, right? Always, if you're patient enough, if you are, if you wait for the right setup, you should be able to remain consistent, right? Don't follow what other people say. You know, do what you do. Do, you know, respect your own trading, respect your own levels. And you're going to see how things are going to start working out, right, guys? So don't forget to check the link in the description as well. If you want to sign up for the community, as well, I have my trace 24 seven. I have my guidance. Well, then I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow. Be safe, right? Be ready for tomorrow because we're going to keep crashing. Okay, guys, take care. Bye. See you guys. What's up, guys? This is Wafa Trader coming at you guys today. If you guys want to start making some money and achieving those goals that you're not afraid of, you guys are looking for, you need to start investing in yourself. You need to start investing in knowledge. All right, so join me to the Alpha community. I'll be there with you guys guiding yourself to the market and i hope to see you guys tomorrow on the market because i'm gonna get you guys get some money all right so see you guys